If you don't know who I am, you could watch this last episode of Big Brother because I had a planet. <laughs> Do you want to speak, John? I'm sorry. Am I speaking? Are you drunk right now? You look drunk. <laughs> Just shut up, sit down, and look semi-pretty. And Eric always <laughs> held the power. <laughs> I do hold the power. What am I in here for? What am I in here for? I hate you people! Uh, don't get me wrong, I am still a racist, homophobic bully. The only way that I can describe being in the Big Brother house is like being at sleepaway camp. I can't relate to what sleepaway camp is like because my family loved me. I had a dream. Uh, I told Eric, I like woke up the next day, I was like, I had a dream that I was in the Big Brother house and I was making fun of you to John over the, through the live feed. I was like, uh, hi, thank you guys for watching Reality Recap. First of all, you have to be more like this. Hi, I, one I can't problem. believe. You got one less, one less point. <laughs> This season on Big Brother. Hey, Brennan. And blah, blah, blah. I love you, Brennan. And blah, blah, blah. Nobody comes in between me and my man. I want you to talk to my Blah, blah, blah. Nobody comes in between me and my man. They your fucking food, but I ain't worried about it. I should have known. Sauerkraut. Are you kidding me? Wrong move, Fiat. Shut up, because we are live. <laughs> and welcome, everybody, to the uh, weekly recap show on Wednesday night. You guys know the deal. You can follow me over on Twitter. I'm at Reality Recaps. Hey, everyone. Comedy Jonah here. So excited to have Amanda back on the show. Uh, you can follow me at Comedy Jonah. Hi, it's Cleo. Uh, Miss Cleo B. BB at Twitter, and I'm so excited to have a band here. I had a planet on Big Brother last night. <laughs> there was a, like a part of the beginning of the planet. I don't know. I don't know what those first couple letters are, but the last letters were my name. Which uh, which was bigger, that you the Macranda planet or your boobies? Um, it's it's a it's a close call. It's a close call. I'd say the combination of my breasts are bigger than. The planet. Oh, you can find me on Twitter at Amanda Zuckerman. Or if you want to follow me on Instagram, post pretty cool pictures, Amanda underscore Zuckerman. Yes, you guys can. And of course, the links to her and all of us will be below this show later on the edited version. Thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. It really helps support our shows. Of course, if you didn't buy the live feeds, check them out on our website. Just click on any ad. That helps us too. And check out all our BB16 content at yourrealityrecaps.com slash BB16 or BB16 slash spoilers if you want to know the info earlier. That was because long. That's long. That is long. That's long. But look, you sound like Devin short, right now. That's I'll listen to what Eric has to say. But what am I in here for? What am I in here for? Oh, you're here to lose a game in a little bit, of Amanda. Oh. That's what you're here for. Somebody's ego's the size of a planet, and it's oh. mine. <laughs> what? Sorry, Eric, I cut you off. I'm, no, I'm you did it. I could no cut away. Cause look, here's what I want to yeah, say. Please, I feel please, like we need please. to spoil. I feel like we need to spoil a little bit because Big Brother left us with the cliffhanger and we know the answer and I feel like we need to talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk. Because Zach Dunn lost his mind at this POV meeting, or so we know. We can't really watch it. Um, yeah. Apparently he went off and goes on to expose the bomb squad. Right. Do you think this was a good move or a bad move? Amanda, I'll throw it to you first. I think it's, I think it's a, listen, from the time of the veto to the time of eviction, a day in the Big Brother house feels like a week. So you can make a really big mistake one day and the next day be able to recover somehow. So do I think it was the best move on Zach's part? No. Do I think that he can recover from it? Yes. Um, that's probably why for a couple of days he was the main target and people were going after him. So um, was it a mistake? Yeah. We all make mistakes. Luckily, things pass a lot quicker, and somebody else will make a mistake, which they did very soon after. Yeah, they most certainly did. I, I mean, we can talk about it. Do you want to talk about what happens after? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm pretty updated, but I, I know it's it's so in there. Things change so quickly. Like you can look at Devin. Like Devin wanted. Well, Devin's like Doctor Jekyll and, and Mister Hyde, but. Uh, 
he wanted Britney out and then he saves Britney with the veto and then puts his alliance member up. So, you know, things change very quickly. It seemed like Devin just uses any, he grasps for anything to use as a justification and he does things very impulsively. And usually there's a more, like I know with you last year, your, whatever you made a decision, it was thought out before it was ever executed. It was never wow. something. When I was playing the game, first of all, we all have to remember it's still really early in the game. We've only had one eviction. So you can't play so hard so fast, and you definitely can't play an individual game. Later on throughout the game, like in the beginning, I was really playing for the Goof Troop. If you watch the live feeds, you know what the Goof Troop is. If you don't, it was me, McCray, Judd, and Andy. And uh, even beyond that, we had a larger alliance that included Alyssa and Helen. So we were, and some, and Spencer, I don't, I don't remember. But, um, but we played, we played, in the beginning, we played for the majority. We didn't play for the individual. Um, Devin's already playing for the individual. Like, Zach, also, when you get up on the block, you go a little crazy, as we saw, you know, with myself. Like, I went freaking nuts. But, like, you get you get scared. Even if you're not the target, you get scared and you, you sometimes grasp at straws and, and do dumb things. And was it a dumb move? Yeah, but the bot, I mean, why wouldn't Devin out uh, or Zach out his alliance? His alliance member put him up. I'd be, like, I'd be like, F you guys. I, like, this isn't an alliance. You just put me up. So this I'm exposing you. There's a scene that I hope they show later on where um, Amber is, like, scrambling to make sense of this whole bomb squad being blown up. And her genius plan that she wants to do to fix everything is she's like, let's just bring the other people in the bomb squad. Let's bring Hayden and Nicole into the bomb squad. Who is left not in the bomb squad <laughs> is what I want to know. Who's left not in it at this point? I just, I just want the girls to, my famous words, to shut up, sit down, and look semi-pretty until the next half of the game because they all don't need to play the game. Like they, They're all in... Uh, besides Pow Pow, they're all in a, a pretty good position. So why let the guys go after each other? You know, why put yourself in such a comparable position? What are you the? I caught you froze in the middle of what are you the? Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Eric. It, Cleo's freezing you. He's trying to take over. If, are we voting to evict Cleo right now? <laughs> we might have to vote to evict you, is it, and it, It's not because of me, but isn't it in the best interest of our viewers? It is. John we might, and we Eric. Might. Oh. Yeah. But if, just watch the show. I'm just fine watch. right now. It's fine right now. Just carry on. Okay, we'll carry on, but if I freeze again, you're being booted. <laughs> I told evicted. you. Evicted, not booted. Evicted. We'll do a live vote. Oh, but we Damn need you, Amanda. Damn you, Amanda. Damn you, Amanda. You always are behind this. You always it wasn't are behind my it. fault. It just makes sense, you, you know? Well, yeah, then wait. See, see, you suggested it, and now he's doing it, and I'm going to get the boot now because he That you. wasn't me. It wasn't me. Uh, I never, well, wait, I never had the power in this situation. Eric always held the power. <laughs> I do hold the power. Oh, great. Well, then, like, uh, be careful, Amanda. There are three gays here. So we know how hey, I, I feel you. like I'm an honorary gay. You're framing me. I'm not the MVP. Damn it. <laughs> Rolling the tape back, and ooh, for the edit, Cleo disappeared. Uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts on this season? Um, it's it's still really early to tell. Um, I it's entertaining for sure. There's a lot of great eye candy. Robin did some. Some some great casting there. Where were those guys on my season? Jeez, and uh, I don't know. I think that you know you know it's the same in my season. In the beginning, there's a, there's a mishmash and a plethora of alliances, and you honestly you don't even know which alliance is real and which alliance is fake. And you know, right now it doesn't seem like there's any like major like very like strong alliances. Uh, as far as I can see, I think that the Donnie, uh, Derek, and Frankie Team America, I like it. I love, I want, I want it badly. I, I think I might have tweeted earlier on, here's to Donnie, Frankie, and Derek getting an alliance together. Before, yeah. before the, I think I said that at some point. And everyone was like, no, Frankie doesn't like Donnie. So I'm glad that he was forced into it. 
<laughs> well, and, but do you think he's going to go along with it? Like, if we watch him, I don't feel like he's very receptive to it. Whenever Derek is trying to talk to him about it, Frankie is very standoffish about the yeah. whole thing. But the now that you see what we're voting on, because they showed at the end of the episode, it was, you know, get two members to kiss and spread a rumor. Or what was the other one? Uh, I'll convince somebody that uh, they're related to a previous Big Brother house guest. If this, the first one I think is going to be a little bit more difficult, put a little bit more of a target on them. But it's all in all, their their challenges, it's more like fun. Like it's going to be fun to watch and it's not like to, thus far, it's not like game changing. Yeah. And who in the house would you want to be in an alliance with? You know, it's I love my gaze. Like I feel a connection with Frankie. I know, but like I feel as though in this, I swear to God, it's not because he gives me like a shout out every other day. Um, <laughs> I really like Frankie. I really like Derek. We love Derek. If Christine, too. I love Derek. If Christine wasn't such a bitch, I'd probably be in an alliance with her. But she talks so much smack about me. Now, you're saying this because of Andy, and, you know, no. I I don't watch the live feeds a lot. That's why we have live feeds. No, you know, I don't either. I only watch it when someone's like, oh, my God, check this out. And just that girl, I swear to God, my name comes out of her mouth every single day. Just like, that's okay, Amanda. It's okay. She hasn't met you yet. She only knows you from television. <laughs> she only knows you from television. Well, and the live feeds, because she can't claims to be a feeder. But wait, let me ask you this. Did you hear her say yes. it, or is yes. it just Andy yeah. screwing with you? No, no, no. Okay. I, I hear it. I hear it. Okay. And to be honest with you, I don't I don't dislike any of any of the house guests, even Devin. Even last on BB Canada when Sabrina was saying all that smack because I gotta tell you a secret, as soon as they all meet me, they kiss my ass so much that I know that that's a no. So I really don't care. Uh huh. No, I got I my do. own fucking planet, yo. I got were my you planet. were you surprised? Yeah. Were you surprised, Amanda? Did you like yeah. being up there with Brenchel and the Brigadia? I I did, and I love how Andy's like the exterminators was there too. I'm like, bitch, that was not a highlighted planet. You were like an afterthought. You were like a burnt up planet that Zach couldn't find. Okay, I was like Brenchel. Regadia, Macranda. I was all like, yeah, Macranda. My boyfriend's like sitting next to me. He's like. <laughs> How do oh, well, I, I, all right, you, no, I'm not going to go there. I was going to have a line of questioning about that, but I don't think we should involve him. Um, yeah. So uh, like aside from Frankie, giving you shout outs all the time. I have, you, I'm sorry. I have a picture, a screech. John is like frozen on my screen so funny right now like I have to show you what he looks I have to show you <laughs> oh no it's, it's, it's done now you guys are good now I just couldn't okay, okay sorry um, okay. Besides Frankie, who do I like as like a good player? No, 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 no. My question is, aside from him giving you shout outs all the time, like, do you like him in this game and do you think it's fair? Because there's all the drama over it's not fair because his sister's Ariana Grande. Yeah, but what's not fair? He's not getting any like preferential treatment. I think that even if Frankie's sister was uh, not Ariana Grande, I still think that he would have been in Team America. I I do too. I do too. I do too. Uh, yeah. I really like Frankie and what you have to look at, you can't look at the edit. It's even difficult to look at the live feeds. You have to listen to the live feeds and listen to names that actually come up. See people who are actually nominated and who the people who are aren't and the people who are never nominated are the people who have power. Okay? Like that right now, the people who are having power is Christine and I mean Nicole was nominated, but they they were just kinda like Fillers, but like Christine and Derek and Cody and um, who else? Amber was she nominated at some one point? No, no, no. Derek, she was head of Derek, household. Derek yeah. and Christine and I think. Our and Frankie, like right now, I'm thinking that those like Frankie, 
Derek, Christine, and uh, Cody, they're playing the best game. Nicole is going to screw herself because she's going to end up hooking up with that Hayden chick. And uh, <laughs> 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 lesbian romance, that, that lesbian romance is just going to be broken up. <laughs> I cannot wait. I keep waiting for on the show. What I'm dying to know, because we really can't find out from watching the feeds, I want to know if Christine has told Nicole and Hayden, like, her super involvement in the bomb squad, and if she's passing the information to them or not. That's what I'm like. She told, she told Christine... Uh, Christine told Nicole about uh, about the bomb squad, but she said that her like she I, I believe I'm pretty sure I watched some stuff and um, I'm pretty sure that that happened and that she said but my real like the only pe person I really trust is you. So like Christine and Nicole have this whole like little like nerdy girl thing going on, um, but it's so obvious, you know? Isn't it obvious to you that that like if you're in the house, wouldn't you see like okay? Those who are together, but now it's good for Christina's in a good spot because Cole is, you know, mixing herself up with Hayden, who she was cuddling with last night, and and people are going to put them up together as opposed to putting Christina and Nicole up together. I I think definitely definitely I think there's a lot of stuff that's really obvious, but I don't know if it's obvious because we're watching from the outside and know what's going on. Although, to be fair, no. When we saw that whole conversation happen on the live feeds, it was clear that that was all code and they were finding out that they were all in Team America together. And we didn't have that information 100% for sure yet. Don't you think that would have been really obvious to you if you were in the house, Amanda? So to obvious! Well, especially Donnie. I would have tell you before when when you just asked me who would you align with in the beginning I would have been like Donnie because I I love him he's sweet and he's such not a target right now but yeah. he was so obvious when he was saying like look look see apple pie there's apple pie in my cup hey Derek do you see apple pie in my cup and Frankie's like oh my fucking god I have to be in an alliance with this guy uh huh uh. <laughs> Is that we is just, that how, is that how you think gay people sound? It's how you sound. It's true. I do my voices like Donnie does his voice, and when Donnie speaks, he likes to speak like this. And I'm gonna go get a pop tart. Yeah, I'm not, so I'm not. I'm not okay. Navy I'm Seal. Not. <laughs> and, I'm and I am not all, a Harvard all, teacher. All is forgiven. All yeah. is forgiven. No, you are all wrong. I'm not even going to try and do it because I can't. He sounds like Zach Elephanakis in any of the Vegas movies. No, he sounds like Forrest Gump. He sounds like Ed Forrest, Forrest Gump. Gump. But he yeah. has the twin gay lisp that Forrest Gump doesn't have that the Zach Elephanakis has in those movies. Will Heiser, is it Heiser? Will does the best impression in his yeah, life. Yeah, agreed. Uh, so amazing. funny. Yeah. Amazing. All right, what are we talking about now? Can we talk about uh, what the Team America tasks are that we're voting for? Yeah, we did. I just, it's just very, we were just talking about that. I think when you were gone. When oh, you, sorry. When you were screwing up our, uh. He's still my He's so out this week, guys. <gasps> oh, I can, I, I can hear you. I can hear y'all. Um. What, okay. so, but, well, we didn't really – we said that we thought it was stupid tasks, but, I mean, look at Eric Stein and look at Reagan. No, they I don't think – it's not stupid. Like. I don't think it's stupid. I just think it's not – at this point, I think it's more just for entertaining purposes and, and less for – do you want to speak, John? I'm sorry. Am I speaking – are you drunk right now? You look drunk. <laughs> I can barely hear you guys. <laughs> Smiling and drinking. Yeah, Good old sweating on like menopausal. <laughs> Good old Southern girl. Shut up. <laughs> you need a fan is what you need and not your AB card fan. Because everybody, hopefully we make it long enough into this show, we're giving away what Amanda couldn't come to, our New York mm -hmm. City premiere party autograph. Whichever one of us wins Cleo's Big Brother game later on, we'll pick who we want to give it away to uh, that's watching live. So that's going to be super fun. That's with our cool. 
And well, I'm not going to ruin my A and B card surprise yet. Um, fine. So, what what do we think is going to? Do we think yes, Zach is definitely being voted out uh, tomorrow night, or yes, he's definitely going to be saved? I know in the house right now they're saying he's completely saved and safe, but we also know, Amanda, how many times can that vote flip on the day of, you know, eviction? I think just to spite Devin, because Devin has pissed off so many people, I think that Zach is safe this week. I mm -hmm. think it has less to do with Zach and more to do with Devin's behavior and his dictative ways. You know, they just want to go against it, and now it's like we're going to revolt. We're going to do whatever Devin doesn't want us to do, and I cannot wait to see to see how he reacts. It's going to be very entertaining. It's not going to be as much of a blind side as we would love you know it's not about the blind side it's about this is what Devin wants the house is not going to do it and now Devin you have no power and you're very vulnerable and not if he acts this crazy when he's in power he's gonna act way more crazy when he's out of power well last night I watched the feeds and he he started acting all really because someone I think Frankie dropped the bomb about this is what it's going to happen, and he started going, like, I think he started calling people up one by one and spilling the details about the bomb squad. Waking them and, up in the middle of the night. Yeah, like, I saw that. Uh, like, it was craziness, and it was absolutely hilarious, but crazy. It and, was so, like, it was so, it was so crazy. I watched when he was, like, waking up Donnie. He's like, Donnie, something bad just happened. Well, this is going to ruin everybody's game. It's going to ruin your game. Yeah. It's going to ruin everybody's game. Everybody. And Donnie's like, can we talk about this tomorrow? I'm sleeping. And he's like, all right, but it's really bad. If I don't tell you right now, you're going to die. You're going to die. If I don't tell you right now. He's like, oh, okay. So I guess you want to talk about it now. <laughs> and then, and then, like, and then he tells, he's like, okay, I'm going to go to sleep now. He's Good basically night. like, uh, you're up shit's creek, son, and I'm trying to get my sleep, so fuck off. Yeah. You're all fucking like, this. spoons him. Like, Devin lays down next to him. He said he wanted to go to sleep two times. Like, David, David, or Devin, just <laughs> lays down next to him and is, like, spooning him, like, listing off the people. I don't get that, Devin. In this episode, they made him look semi-normal, and like he's no. the victim almost in all of this. No, don't you don't think so? think so? No, I think it was full on. Uh, you just saw you saw him getting gun hit, and I I can't wait for tomorrow's show because, especially if stuff from last night's included, like. He was full on going, getting unhinged, and and like you could see when it like snapped. That I love how Amanda like, just he, leaves. <laughs> like he was not in power. Like he realized how powerless he suddenly was, and yeah. and then just uh, he I don't began know. to unravel. No, and, no and, I and, disagree. And, I think the one personality thought I'm not powerful anymore, and then he'll switch to the other personality in an hour, and then that person will be powerful again. It's, it's the wrong way to scramble at two in the morning. You know. The editors really better be getting paid well because this shit in this house has been so bipolar. You know yeah. that Grodner's like, we got to switch it up. This is not the way it's going to go. We got to change it. This person's the villain now. And this is what's happening. And Zranky, Zranky, that doesn't exist anymore. Why have we just aired that? How are we going to change that? We just aired the relationship and now we have to change it. I completely Amanda. agree. I completely agree uh, with you. Completely uh, uh, agree. Yeah, and Amanda, you just made it onto the show tonight. Let's not piss off Alison Grodner. <laughs> oh no, I love Alison Grodner. I'm yeah. saying that, that was not an insult. We, that okay. saying, we that she, we she, done knows, she knows. Girl, how to I do understand. Show. I understand. Have done our yes. Disclaimer before you two start talking. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm, not saying, I'm not saying anything. Good. So. Good. Good. So, <laughs> did you not hear, though, Amanda, production might not like Zach. Earlier today, there was a diary room leak, and he's, like, playing cool with Cody. The times will be on our uh, yourrealityrecaps.com slash flashbacks page. Uh, and you hear someone in the diary room say... Uh, Zach broke his microphone. Then you hear somebody else say, yeah, but he feels really bad about it. 
and then somebody else is like, oh, that makes me effing hate him a lot less than. And it's clear DR production people talking. I think it was... Um... I think it was Zach and Cody talking, and Zach said, are they going to take it out of my stipend? And then yeah. production production was like, something called him a douchebag or something. I can see Zach being a douchebag, being a little bit of a diva. But listen, these kids were picked out of 60,000 people. You're going to, all of us are douchebags. Every person that's ever been on Big Brother. <laughs> it's true. I love you, Amanda. I, I love you too so much. I can't I take love you. And Robin will, Robin will attest. She looks for the douchiest of the douchiest. <laughs> she found him. His name well, is she finds him. I mean, I was prepared to del totally dislike Zach and I end up I really, really like him. I just love him. I like his he has a lot of energy mm -hmm. and I even texted Robin before the season starts because listen, I'm from Palm Beach. I know as soon as, as he gets back here, I'm gonna be like, Let's talk big brother. I'm snatching him up before McCray because McCray snatches all of them up before me and I need a team Amanda here, so Derek uh, Zach <laughs> the whole chat room said we froze. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was trying to pose like I was in the Phantom Zone. I didn't know who I didn't know who it was on. All right, why don't we? While we're all here, <laughs> why don't we do I'll our just, game? Start while this we're fucking all game. All you do. Yeah, start this fucking game. This is the best game. slash worst show yet. Uh, I agree. Worry. The edited ah. the edited version will be super good. Cleo, let's do your game while we have you. We all yes. have our paddles ready. What are our rules? Okay, this game is called Battle of the Zuck. I'm going to ask you a series of questions that involve numbers, and the, it's going to ask you either is something more or less, and you'll see as we go along. What are, I hear laughing. Who's laughing? Wait, is A more or is I'll B? Tell, I'll explain to you. I'll just I'll explain. I'll walk you through it. All right, Heath. the basic rundown. What? All right, Heath. Okay. Heath, Heath is the... Uh, is the Oh, here, little spoiler. Heath is the competition uh, producer. Got you. Got, Got it. it. Got it. Okay, so anyway, uh, this, there are six questions total. I each will have an I, either A or B as an answer. And if we need to, we'll go to a tiebreaker question. The person who gets the most points at the end of the game will win Battle of the Zuck. Are we ready? Yes, oh, ready. Julie. So, good luck and don't zuck it up. Wait, oh. hold on. I forgot. I wasn't paying attention. So is A more or is B more? <laughs> he will explain it to you when he reads the oh, question. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got Botox. And went to the it's the zuck game, Amanda. Come on. Come on. Amanda, don't zuck it up. Just listen. I am <laughs> zucking at this. <laughs> you totally zuck at this right now. I am uh, sorry. 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 Okay. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Question one. Which is higher? The number of times Devin used the word integrity on Sunday show or the number of members of the Bob Squad? If you think the number of times Devin used the word integrity is more, select A. Or if you think the number or the number of people in the Bob Squad is more, select B. Answers, please. Everybody have their answers up? I can't see you. A. The correct answer is B. You all got it wrong. Look at Eric's paddle. It's amazing. I love it. Yes. The answer is uh, uh, A. There are, or excuse me, B. There are eight. There are eight members in the Bob Squad, and Devin said integrity only six times. What? I knew that was a trick question. Okay, go ahead. Oh, so you all have zero points. Okay. Question. Question two. Which was higher? The number of times Devin used the word daughter on Sunday show, or the number of weeks it took for Amanda to win a competition on Big Brother 15? <laughs> Answers, please. Which, which one's high? higher? Yes, which one's higher? If you think that A, Devin used the word daughter Love more, you, select A. If you think the number of weeks it took for Amanda to win a competition <laughs> was higher, select B. Answers, please. <laughs> I need your answers. So we have uh, B, B, and A. The correct answer is B. 
Damn it! Yeah. It, it took me like to a week freaking like it took you to a week to win a competition. To week, week nine is when you won your first competition, and Devin said daughter six times. So right now we have the score of Amanda one and Eric one, and John with zero. I yes, got it right. I had no. Yeah, yeah. I got it wrong. We're all shy. Wait a second. Internet connection. Yeah. So wait, is it, so then Eric has zero points. <laughs> Yes, I have zero. I'm Got it. John have one. Moving on. Question three. Which was higher? The total number of viewers for the Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday shows combined, or the number of followers Ariana Grande has on Twitter? Answers, please. Oh. Okay. Which was higher? Which is higher? Which was higher? If you think the number of total viewers on the Sunday, Wednesday, what? Thursday show last week combined. What? Why okay, am I on the panel? Is it I see B. John, you all have answered B. The correct answer is A. I was going to say A, but then I followed you, asshole. That way I go to the oh! 16.5 million viewers watched uh, last those last three, last three episodes, and Ariana Grande has 16.3 million followers. So uh, you all have zero points. I was going to... Uh -huh. Question I'm not anymore. Amanda, you are doing just as flawlessly as you did last year on these competitions. Okay, you know what? I'm still winning, and that's all that matters. That's true. That is true. Question number four. As of 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, which was higher? The number of retweets Barack Obama received for all of his tweets today, or the number of retweets that Ariana Grande received in her most recent tweet? If you think it's A, uh, Barack Obama's total retweets for the day, select A. If you think Ariana Grande's retweet count was higher for just the one let recent tweet, choose B. Answers, please. I need your answer. We have B, A, and A. The correct answer is B. Hey! Ariana, Ariana had 11,000. Uh, 11,100 retweets. Barack Obama had 6,200 retweets. It wasn't even close. Uh, he's Congratulations, the president, people! He's this is what's president. wrong with America. This is what's wrong with America. The president! Yeah. One last one. I last can't problem. believe. You got one last, one last point. <laughs> Amanda, I got Amanda no point. I'm for you. fucking at this. Point. I'm fucking. <laughs> Good job, Amanda. Are we ready for question number five? Yeah. Which was higher? The number of times Devin said, you're not going home on Sunday show, or the number of times Amanda has used the hashtag FU Andy on Twitter? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's got to be. If you think Devin used it, say, you're not going home, is on Sunday show was more slept A. Why or, am I upside down? That's so mean. You all have B. The correct answer is A. No way! All about it wrong. What? According to the Twitter, according to the Twitter search, uh, Amanda used the "f you Andy" hashtag only seven times, or only six times, and Devin said, "You're not going to wrong seven times." Absolutely. Well, I'm according to Twitter, Andy, a lot more than this. But the hashtag, yeah. Andy, according to Twitter search results, is only. Uh, uh, all right, that's, uh, but I, but you, I, I thought I thought it was low too, to be honest. But before you read your last question, do I have the opportunity to make an alliance with Amanda to get her to throw this or no? No. Okay. <laughs> Ready for question six, bitches? Yes. Yeah. Zuck is wiping the floor with you, suckers. With you zuckers, you guys suck. And Amanda and I predicted she was gonna win anyway. Which is higher? This is question six. The I have the last question. Which is higher? The number of house guests who point or show their fingers during the opening credits, or uh, the number of house guests who used adverbs such as sadly, unfortunately, competitively, etc., while casting their votes to evict last Thursday. Answers, please. You all chose A. And the correct answer is A. Yay! I lose. But, yeah. but, so, uh, congratulations, Amanda. You have won. 
you don't have one, the Battle of the Zuck. Unless you want to do a mega tiebreaker question that's worth five points. Fuck that. Let's do it for shits and giggles because I want to see yeah, Amanda. Amanda. Come on. Come on, Amanda. Come on, Amanda. You win. You win. But I no, want to do the tiebreaker question. Let's do the tiebreaker. I never won anything, so I kind of just wanted yeah, to. Yeah, no, Amanda, you won. But this is the last We're going to really good celebrate one. your oh. win after the question. Go ahead, Claire. Okay, fine. Okay. Everybody pull out your whiteboards. This is important. <laughs> okay. The question is in hours. How long did Amanda Zuckerman last in the Big Brother house before she was evicted? Remember the answers and hours. The closest to the answer without going over will win this question. If you all go over, the one closest uh, to the answer without uh, will will win. Answers, please. Hold on, I need to multiply. No, that's fine. The total number of hours that Amanda was in and the house. And you can't, you cannot go time. over. Is that the thing? You can't go over. <laughs> uh, you no going over. But if everybody goes over, then the person closest to the uh, answer will uh, win. <laughs> Answers, please. I need your answer. And I say that with pressure because Julie loves to do that. So it's not. I don't really need your answer that. Okay. Well, anyway, here. So, okay. Uh, let me check because so Amanda has. 600? Wait. Amanda, <laughs> are you serious? Wait, what's... Hours. 6,000. Okay, 6,000, I think. Okay, and Sean has... What the fuck is that? 666? Oh, it's no, it's not 666. It's supposed to be 999. Wait, time out. Don't <laughs> doubt me. Hold on. 24 <laughs> times I lasted 70... Wait, hold on. Let me try it again. Good. Well, you're doing Let's that. Here's my answer. I'm changing it. I'm changing it. I'm changing it. I'm changing it. Okay, okay, okay that's fine. Ahead. I'll go I, right back to you. Yeah, I hate John. Go. Tell us your answer, Eric. My answer, I have tapped into Jesse, and I went with, I hate you, John Richardson, and F you, Amanda, since I lost. Well, you just gave up any shot you had at winning because of that. Yeah. Uh, so, so it's down to 1,800 for Amanda, and, and John has 999. Once again... Zuckerman sweeps the floor with you idiots. It's 1843 is the correct answer. Amanda, congratulations. If it's 1843, I was closer to that than Amanda. What was Amanda's answer? 600. No, it was not. My answer is 1800, bitch. Yeah, it was 1800. Bitch. And she said, she said eight, and she was in there for 1843. You guys suck. You totally. What was the Amanda correct answer? Cheated and, Amanda cheated and changed her. No, answer. she didn't. Okay, she did. I didn't lock it. Hey, I didn't lock hold it. Hold on, hold on. Amanda oh, you locked it. Amanda didn't oh, you know the answer to any of the questions, any what of the six the questions, and she still destroyed you. The answer was eighteen hundred and forty-three. And I chose eighteen hundred. Yeah, Amanda, right. just I pick your what the pick your person. Pick 43. your person. It's not my fault that my calculator screwed up the first time. I know that. I don't know how long I was in that house for. I was there, okay? I hate you people! <laughs> we need for watching you! I'm not oh, done giving my slow clap to Amanda, Amanda for winning. She, did, no, she not only won, she destroyed you, and, and no one even threw it to her, so... Oh, would you pull your head out of her ass? She can just <laughs> enjoy us. It's so nice. Thank you. Cheers, Amanda. Thank you. Good job, whatever, Amanda. Thanks. Thanks. I don't like when Amanda's on. I always win. <laughs> I know, right? She's just too uh, fucking competitive. Not today. You, Eric, you lost. You like even I John. Can feel you. A point. Even thank I you, Claire. Even John. Even John, even John <laughs> beat you. <laughs> you are bronze medal. You are bronze medaling tonight. Thank Eric. you, Cleo. I you give know, you I just, I just really never win anything. So I've been, I've been practicing no, really. No, you won. You won, and, and you, you won know, by a mile. It paid off in this competition. I've been practicing. Well, I've been doing Amanda, this. Here's what I'll say this. to you. You can let me know at some point today, one one of your fans on Twitter, however you want to do it, you tell me who they are and we since you won and we will send them the autographed um, I I can't. I need you to. I can't there's I have so many amazing supporters. Busy, I can't okay. No, it's not about me. Pick a lane. Come on. 
It's not about busy. I, it's so hard for me because I, I love everyone. So okay, I need you guys I to choose. Okay, I won't pick any of those people that you told me you hated. I'll pick someone that you like. Yeah, just don't pick. <laughs> okay. Hey. M- <laughs> I was going to make a joke. I won't do it. I'm reading the chat room at yourrealityrecaps.com. Uh, who, the people who said uh, 1848, close. That was clever. However, it's I over. deducted the five hours that Amanda was out of the house after she was evicted because she wasn't evicted at midnight. She wasn't there for that full day. She was only there, you know, until about uh, seven six forty five. So there. Oh, Put that, that in your private smoking. You know that. Good lord, who has because, that time? Who has that time? Because it's seventy seven days, Wiki. right? <laughs> 77 yeah. days, and on the 77th day, was she there the whole day? No. Yeah, but well, so we what time, do, you know, do you know what time we got into the house? Because you couldn't have known that. Amanda, don't blow it. You won. Just I won. Yay. We'll be sending you your um, prize. Mug. Oh, no, we don't. No, we I won't. I want a mug. You know? Drink you don't mug. want a mug. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want a mug. I will say, I'm not kidding. Amanda, congratulations for real. You are now officially our most returning guest on our show. And later this year in December, we are doing awards to give to people like who our fans like the best, who the whatever. We're going to have little awards made and we're going to give them away. So you're winning. You're totes winning. You know what? That's so crazy because I turn you down all the time to come on this show. I know. So, you know, and you know what else is funny? If you lose this category, I could still probably fudge you for most hated as well. <laughs> <laughs> crazy Twitter oh. people today. Relax, right. people. I think I think Eric is campaigning for shout outs when you're back on All Stars too. Can we be real that, here? Honestly, it's a hands down. If I go back in that house, you know, I had I had a dream. When, Eric, when you remember go back I told you that? When I go back in the house, I had a dream. Uh, I told Eric I like woke up the next day, I was like, I had a dream that I was in the Big Brother house and I was making fun of you to John over the, through the live feed. I was like, uh, hi, thank you guys for watching Reality Recap. First of all, you have to be more like this. Hi, guys. Oh, yes, like, I want to thank you guys. If you like me, Go click my, here. Link below. <laughs> it's hey, thumbs up and subscribe. If you like what we're doing, hit the, hit the button below and subscribe to your Reality Recaps. And- Looks like Amanda knows how to on... make the intro of the show. Ooh. Go ahead, John. I love it. My mom's texting me. She's like, don't get involved in the Jesse, Andy, GM, Judd issue. It's not your battle. I don't, well, even know what she's talking about. Up, Mom. <laughs> I don't even know what she's talking about. No, I got to know. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. I don't know. But why does your parents think we're here? We're here for fun. We're not here for drama. Did you not see yeah, our fun Oh my game? god! I had to, my parent after every interview. My my parents are like, "You shouldn't have said that, Amanda." <laughs> you <laughs> should not. Hi. You should not. Let's do that. I want to give a shout out to my dad, Robert Zuckerman. He's the Lindsay Lohan's father of my family, and uh, my mother, who's watching as well. Mom, I promise not to get involved mm-hmm. in the Jesse. Judd, GM, and Andy drama. You heard it here, Mom. She's promising. You you are I like a, you are like Pinky a clone, Twitter, Amanda. Mom. Pinky like she did Twitter. with just different color hair. You look so much alike. It's crazy. We do. We what? look a lot alike. Oh. Well, ding. I have a ding. question. I have a question, Amanda. Would you, if you ever were to go on a, if they ever did like a blood versus water season, does your sister ever want to play Big Brother? Like, would she no, ever do it? No, oh. she's, she's like, she, I don't know. I don't think so. To be honest, the only person I would be terrified, terrified to go on the show against would or go on the show with would be McCray. Oh, shit. Really? It would be real. And <laughs> Why? That, because we don't speak. And uh, he, oh, I know, he would target me. And so that, like, and and, like, I wouldn't, like, how do you go about doing that? You're like, I care about you, but you're my ex-boyfriend, and I want to evict you, but you want to because you want to evict me. Like, there's like that would be so awkward. 
Everybody well, else they, be fine. They've already they've already done Battle of the Exes uh, as a twist before, right? So I think they would if they ever did that. The the objective would be wanting you to work and have peace with whoever you know you're connected to that goes in. Yeah, if they ever did any sort of like blood versus water thing, I could I can see my dad doing it for sure. But other than well, that, I, I don't know. Here's a here's a good question for you, Amanda. While while questions are working, now we know that, and maybe some people don't. Amanda is in a in is in a very happy and healthy relationship right now. So yes. boyfriend, boyfriend, this is hypothetical question. Uh, from Bad Girl Diva, Amanda, if you were on the season and you were single and not in a happy, super lovey relationship, who would you pick for the other half of your showmats? You better say Cody. Or I mean, isn't it obvious? It's totally Cody. Although he calls me a loony bin, it would totally be Cody. He's but he's young. They're all like really young. Yeah, and stupid. Just the no, way they're way. not. I don't know. I don't know. They're too young. They're they're young. I, and I it's honestly like my and, and I'm not. I'm totally gonna sound like um, I don't know. I, Are they not I, skinny so, enough for you or what? Like, come on. You, no, my man. My man is now is gorgeous and built and I'm funny here. and. It's hard for me to like even say like hypothetically who else because I'm just so. Who does your man resemble in the house? Let's let's let's, let's switch it around a little bit. No, because I know the answer. And I don't want to hear it because it's I'm not terrible. asking you. I'm asking Amanda. Who? My man doesn't resemble anybody in the house. I don't think. Well, the closest. The closest. Of this season or last season? This season. This season. Cody. Okay, so then Cody's the answer. Ding, 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 ding. But that's a good question for uh, Amanda. Well, because ask it quickly. Well, actually, we got a lot of questions. Okay, for, for all of you guys. Yeah. So, <laughs> game wise, I'm I'm all about Zach staying this week, but my opinion is clouded because I am just I'm so attracted to him that I just I I just adore him and I want to caress him. But is it a bit? Is it the right move to keep him? Or should they should they just keep Paula? Because it's hard to be objective when I clearly have, you know. You know, oh, I think that. On what I'm watching. No, I think that. Listen, there's different stages of the Big Brother game. Uh, we're now we're in the stage. Are you okay? I'm trying oh to be the moment. <laughs> Sorry, John. Was that? That was a lot, Cleo. I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, just keeping it real. Oh, we're, we're still we're still in the Go beginning. Back a <laughs> Let Amanda talk. Let Amanda talk. This is uh this is a, the slow and steady win the race. Okay, so at this point, you people like Zach could be a really good ally. I think it's it's good to get rid of Paula to just basically show Devin that you don't have the power in this house. We have the power. You're just one man, and we are the rest. So, girlfriend, stand up for your rights, and you will vote out Paula tomorrow, and Zach will prevail. Hashtag save Zach. Marcus R. says, do we think, what do we think of Frankie getting the good guy edit? He threw Zach under the bus, and they didn't even show it. Well, Which first is of all, it's, true. Too, it's too early. I agree. To throw. And second of all, you know what bothers me? The whole, like, good guy or bad guy. Like, Frankie's playing a fucking game, okay? Like, these people, Cleo, you did the same thing. You're like, Frankie's a douche. He's not a douche. He's playing a game. And, and oh, my God, he backstabbed his friend. He backstabbed some guy he's been in the house with for 15 days, okay? <laughs> and he's playing a game to try to further himself. So if that makes him a douchebag or a bad person, then you guys have no respect for the game because – you're not a bad person for playing the game. I don't even think Devin is a bad person. Devin is is Devin does not do well under pressure. Okay? He has a bad social game. He doesn't do well under pressure and he speaks over people. He's not able to um, give a sense of I'm listening and I'm speaking. I'm listening and I'm speaking because he only speaks. A good game player will 90% of the time listen. And ten percent of the time, speak. Amanda, you are you're you are absolutely right. 
I, I owed it. No, no, I owed it that I, I really just want him in there because I'm, I'm, I just love Zach. I, I love I, Zach, but look, he flipped. I love Frank, him. Frankie's gonna save Zach now. It's all about. Listen, but that—that's what it was all scared. about. Like Frankie's that's... gonna be scared as well. We also haven't seen, right? We haven't seen what was said during the the after the POV meeting, right? True, but also this is because this this happened a lot last season when Andy was doing when Andy be, was doing his rat uh, duty. Uh, he got a lot of hate because. People, the fans don't like to see when someone, you know, like has this relationship, but then he's going behind their back and selling them out. That's, That's that, really, really, the, Okay, but look, Andy won the game. You're That's right. What, That's you're what the right. game is about. And if I were to go back, I would do the exact same thing, except sometimes it's necessary and sometimes it's not. But I think that... Frankie also is a little scared too. Like when Zach was telling Frankie about, you know, I told Devin that I, I wanted to vote him out. And Frankie's like, why the fuck would you do that? Like I would have the same reaction. Yeah. Why would you go out of your way and tell Devin that you, you wanted him out? Like that's stupid. I'm going to be in an alliance with you, but you're going to make stupid moves. People don't get it. Like Judd, for instance, people will never understand. Amanda, Judd was on your side. Why did you want him out? Because you couldn't feel what was going on in there. Judd, and I'm going to explain it now for people who still don't understand it. The first time Judd left in the double eviction, he was voted out unanimously, okay? If someone's voted out unanimously, there's a reason. Judd had picked fights with Helen, had picked fights with um, me. I thought he was MVP, but that wasn't even that wasn't even the main reason. The, Judd had a relationship with Aaron and a relationship with Jesse that um, prohibited me from controlling Aaron. Okay, so I had to get rid of Judd in order to control Aaron. And as soon as Judd left, Aaron, I took Aaron under my wing. So people don't understand that. Sometimes it's not, It's a, an ally member will eventually, it's all about timing, and an ally member could hurt your game at some point and at that point if I honestly think if Judd never came back into the game that uh, that I probably would have made it to the final four okay because he wouldn't have had the numbers until Judd came back in the house I had the numbers to win the game but then Judd came back in the house and then my numbers were off I got Alyssa to turn you know I always knew at some point I could turn Alyssa back, but Judd, there's no way I could have turned Judd. Andy was a goner, Gina Marie was a goner, and Spencer was a goner, but Judd was that one number. Remember, I went out in a tie. Amanda, apparently the internet, apparently your parents just did something because they were very clear, don't talk about Judd, Gina Marie, or Justin. <laughs> No, but what I was saying, like, from, you know, if, if you have any of you guys ever been a sleepaway camp before? Uh, no, yeah. I'm gay. Okay. A Jewish no, my parents loved camp, me. It was miserable. I okay, hated when, it. people, if anybody's watching, the the only way that I can describe being in the Big Brother house is like being at sleepaway camp. And at the end of, I went to a two month sleepaway camp. At the end of sleepaway camp, everyone cries and they hug each other because, oh, it's been two months and we've grown so close over the last, like I went to a summer camp that our motto was 10 for two. We lived 10 months for the two months in the summer camp. If anybody's watching, went to summer camp, you want a sleepaway camp, you understand. But that's two months. Imagine three months, you know, and, and it's, it's hard. It's like, and when I, getting, getting to my point, watching the live feeds, it's like, Remembering your childhood home, like you know, like you you you're not able to go back there, but you remember what your front door looked like, and you walk in and what your driveway looked like, and playing, you know, with your friends in your backyard and whatever else. Like you can, and like when they're in the backyard, it's and I see just like the the lounge chairs and stuff. It's like that's so crazy because I know what that feels like. I know what it what it, and watching it too. You also people who are like I saw the live feeds. I see everything. No, you don't. You don't because there's four cameras going on at a time and they just cut to fish all the time and you can't see when people go like this and, and they whisper something or they just like give, give each other a look like that. Like you don't see that stuff from it's, – it's not the same. 
Don't get me wrong. I am still a racist, homophobic bully. <laughs> and you just didn't get to see all of it on the live. Darn it! Right. And I can't relate to what Sleepaway Camp is like because my family loved me. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> so here's the question for you, Amanda, because I know we need to start wrapping up. I just want to give you like one or two quickly. Uh, BB16 obsessed wants to know. Uh, who do you think is the number one person to be, to play Big Brother ever? Obviously, besides yourself. Uh, Dr. Will. What if you had to pick somebody that wasn't Dr. Will? Um, <laughs> Dan. Besides Dr. Dan. Will? No, uh, you can stick with Dr. Will. I just I feel like everybody always says Dr. Will. I gotta Will. tell you, I, and I don't know ever, but it, everybody defines the game differently. Um, Andy was a really good game player. He was never a target. And to be in a house with that many people and narrow down to that little people to only be nominated one time is spectacular. And he, when it comes to a social game, Andy played one of the best social games I've ever seen on Big Brother. As I was walking out the door of Big Brother, and I'd like to think that I was a strong game player, I was saving Andy. I was trying to save Andy. And so even when he told me, like, I was never mad at Andy. I always understood. I never, ever held any bitterness towards him, except for the fact that he didn't even buy me a drink on my birthday, and I thought that was kind of screwed up. It's like you bought, you just won $500,000. You could buy me a drink. That's pretty much it. What do you make of the people who may, because I know on Twitter I get a lot of, I see a lot of people saying, trying to compare Frankie with Andy. I don't think there's, uh, I think it's a bogus uh, comparison because it's already week two and I've seen conversations where people are like on him. Andy never was discussed ever in that. Andy of, was. Andy in the first two weeks was discussed um because he would pop into every single room that everyone was at, and there were people who got annoyed by it. There were people in the house in the first two weeks that were mentioning Andy and Judd. And then after the first two weeks, after we found our alliance, their names never came up anymore because the house was very clearly divided. Just from seeing, watching Frankie, knowing where he's from, Knowing his yeah. upbringing, he seems to be a sane person. Ninety-nine percent of the people they cast on this show, they're not sane. Like they're crazy somehow. <laughs> Frankie, it's about a, they. They are like everyone's fucking crazy. I swear to God. Like oh, yeah. I know. I know that. Like when I first got off the show, everyone was like, "Amanda, you're evil." But now, like I think that all those people who like see like the truth, I think they're like, "Amanda, you are like the only normal one. Like everyone else is fucking crazy." And I'm like. Told you. Um, but anyways, um, I think that when you're in the house, it's different. He's going to where he feels the safest. But what we see right now, like, does the other side know that Frankie is going with uh, Caleb or Devin? Or maybe he has to be more um, – Maybe he has to push more with Devin and Caleb and let them know, oh, I'm with you, I'm with you, in order to make sure, because they're strong, that they don't put Frankie up. Like, Frankie's playing. He's got to let everybody think hmm. that he's on, on his side, you know? He's going to go, and it's hard. I, I just you see how Devin is, rat like, spilling, you know, he's grasping at straws, spilling everybody's secrets uh, to everybody, and it just... That's that's a major liability in that house. If 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 yeah, but what gonna... De Devin's word is shit now. You know, like so for, Devin can come out and be like, oh, Frankie wanted to get you out, Zach, and Zach could be like, I never said that. Okay, that's and say, yeah, I did, true. and I'm like well, you guys were in an alliance. Like obviously, you're both are gonna you know tell him, but like why would I do that? Zach's one of my best friends in here. Why? You know what I mean? Like that is, that is true. And do you want to actually know? You bring up a good point because uh, speaking of crazy. Did you guys see Jocasta's prayer session last night? What the fuck is up with the prayer sessions? Like, oh I my god, I I was legit like, what did I just take pop brownies? Listen, you get bored the in there. Okay. I read the Bible. Like, <laughs> I, I, saw it. I I went to I read the Bible a lot, and we like discussed it. Like I went to St. Um, Patrick's Cathedral when I was in New York and like I was with my boyfriend who was raised Catholic and we're in there and he's like, what's that? And I started like talking about the Bible and like the Old Testament and the New Testament. He's like, how the fuck do you know that? Aren't you Jewish? And I'm like, 
read the Bible. When you were in New York, and uh, this will be our final question for you, Amanda. When you were in New York, because I know a lot of people are asking this, Gina Marie posted a video where it looks like she's standing and like walking off the side of a building. Yeah, like, it's my. I, I was I was in the shower during this, and my my boyfriend did it too. I'll show you a picture. She was legit on like a pillar of the building. That that's not a green screen. That's real. I was in my because my uncle does it because my uncle's a freak. My uncle owns uh, the penthouse um, of a building in uh, like Midtown. We got what you were saying. It was your uncle's photography studio green screen that and you yeah, guys she did. Got. No, it wasn't. I swear. I swear on my life, it was not a green screen. That's real. On my life. Wow. It looked so green screeny to me, and I was like, Amanda would never let Gina Marie do this. I was I, in the shower. I was so mad when I got out. I was like, I can't believe you guys did that. But to be fair, about like two stories down, there is like um, another like balcony. So like, if you fell, like you could die, but you may you may just like break just, all of the bones in your body. Just break your other leg. Yeah, but okay. if you fell a little too far, you'd fall off the building. It was, it was nuts. That would not be good. Not this bad. is a shot. I did my my ring finger nail and sparkles for Gina Marie and Aaron because they. Um, and apparently Frankie. He did, did it you, too. Did you, in honor of uh, Aaron, did you drink the nail polish remover or? I didn't. I didn't. I just will uh, have her do that for me. That was one of the best days ever in the house. And I don't mean because I didn't like Aaron. I just meant, like, it was so funny how you all reacted to that whole scene. I was I'm there. Like, I was like, why would you do that? Right? That was you funny. literally go crazy. <laughs> and you know what else? I don't know if people know this, but typically in, like, mouthwash and stuff, they have alcohol in it. And they give you such a limited amount of alcohol that they specifically oh. don't give you anything with any alcohol in it. They don't get, like, they make sure, like, the mouthwash is alcohol-free. Anything that would contain alcohol in the entire house. I can't go in the house. They take it out. They make sure that it's alcohol-free. Alcohol-free mouthwash. Never, ever go in the house. Ever. Yeah. Right. Well, that's, you'd have to be pretty broke down if you were getting drunk off mouthwash. Woohoo, everybody! It's a party! Lord okay. Jesus, let's have a prayer Lord. circle! Lord! Let's have Lord. BB-17 prayer circle. Lord right, Jesus, Amanda. God, let there be a booze delivery. God, please, God, please. Have heaven, your Father, give us booze, but booze, God, please, God. All right, Amanda, <laughs> any final thoughts? Any Anything else that you want to say that you want to talk about or tell the people? Yeah, what are you, are you channeling your like inner Tupac Shakur right now? No, I thought that John and I were supposed to be dressed up for the team <laughs> since we were you playing didn't against. You say you said have a paddle ready, and I'm gonna paddle you for not letting me oh, dress him up. You guys didn't see my. I did V for Bubby. Yeah, you I saw that. You could have like taped him to a wooden spoon, Amanda. I mean, that's a little white trash. I don't have and a wooden you spoon. Have, you should have put A on one booby and B on the other booby. Ah, uh, like, next time. Next ba, time. A la a la. And then, of course, I want to know, uh, first of all, I just want to say, I think that this cast is very entertaining. Yeah. Um, that, that's what I want to leave it with. I think that um, it, it's only the the second eviction coming up tomorrow, right? And there's already, everything's starting to get stirred up, and this is a really exciting time. So um, I think that casting did a really good job, and I think that CBS is doing a really good job. And... Uh, I love Alison Grodner. Good answer. I'd Good like answer. to say that, like, the true gay that I am, I made a, um, I themed mine for Amanda wow. and did it with photo paper and put John on it because clearly I'm gay and I have to do everything superbly. <gasps> I love it. And, oh, by the way, it's been a while since me and you talked. Just to leave it, leave it off. I am in really good, have really good relationships with most of the people on my season now. <clears throat> Me and uh, <clears throat> Candace just started talking again, which is really cool. She's so funny. Why don't you try saying that again? That doesn't make it sound so shady with your... <laughs> no, I have, I, have like a, I have phlegm in my throat. No, me and Candace started talking again. Honestly, she's so funny. She should do more interviews because that girl, the shit that comes out of her mouth is like the funniest thing I've ever heard. And... Um, 
<clears throat> the only people I don't really talk to is like <clears throat> Jesse. I can't. <clears throat> Would you swallow, please? <laughs> yeah, I, I, my Candace, mom's going to kill me. Candace, my mom's going to kill me. Candace is, is a sweetheart. I miss Helen. I don't see Helen on Twitter very much. Uh, well, clearly, I mean, Helen's a busy with. woman. She, got, she has a busy job. She has two children. Like, that girl hustles, so I'm surprised she has any time to tweet. She has two young kids. Cleo knows. He stayed the night with Candace. But why? He did. I don't think we should be talking about that. We agree, Candace is a very nice care. lady. <laughs> Comedic people, calm we, down. We love Candace. We do. So go ahead, Amanda. You are so you're friends now with everybody. Um, we're not going to say that you're not friends with Jesse. We're just going to say that you're friends with everyone in the cast right now. Maybe some. A little less than others. Yeah, I mean, really, everyone that's like, I, I, everyone's cool. It, it takes time to get out of like the Big Brother bubble and you know let things go. And some people have difficulty letting things go, especially their fifteen minutes of fame. And then when that's up, you know, you move on, you become friends. I don't want to like, in case this person's watching, but the perfect example is there was a person on Twitter today who we said we're having Amanda on, and they were like, we're not asking any questions for Amanda because of how she treated Alyssa last season. And I replied oh, with, Jesus I replied with, that's okay, but just so you know, they made up. And then instantly, yeah, that's the crazy she thing. was fine. Yeah, fine. me and Alyssa, like, I, we literally talk every week. Like, I... I really, I think we're gonna like go to Vegas together soon or something. Like, what people that house made me really freaking crazy. Like, it, it did. It was it's a pressure cooker. And my dad was making fun of me. He was like, um, "Yeah, if Amanda was about to go on the block, she'd be uh, hiding behind a trash can bag like right now." I was like, "Dad, it's um, day five. Try to give it till day 50. And it was a recycling bin. <laughs> I like the picture that you posted on Facebook where you're hiding behind the garbage can. I, on Instagram where you're hiding behind the garbage can. <laughs> My dad's funny. For, for He's I, 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 I'm looking forward to it. Like, this cast, I adore. I love them. And I, they just look like, I mean, before, of course, we haven't seen them all lose their cool yet. But they look like cool peeps that... I like seeing, like, strong... I mean, I'm sorry, and I know that this makes me a villain of last season, but I enjoyed... I, I like seeing strong females play Big Brother. Like, I loved watching Janelle. I loved watching... Who said, who said we did it? Who well, said we did it? I'm just saying, like, we don't have any strong female personalities this, this summer. I know. Can I uh, also... I, mean, I didn't think... You weren't a villain from the start. Let's just be, like... I, that that was an evolution, you know. So I don't care. I didn't consider you a villain. That, you you like, yeah, yeah. That you you got edited into a villain. Well, let's not re. I don't want to like start. Uh, <laughs> but I, well, you know who's edited is slowly changing. I think Amber's edit is slowly changing. She Robin. Ro Robin said she knew I was a she, I was gonna be a villain maybe in the and she even said to me she was like in the beginning though like when you first went in I was like what is she doing she needs to start acting like herself and then she's like oh you made me so proud but you can see like when the show starts they wanted to make Zach the villain right and they want they like they wanted to make like Devin the good guy uh, the savior who goes to Donnie who makes who. Donnie, the outcast, you know, he makes, even me, I was tweeting out, I'm all like, ooh, I like Devin, that he's going to Donnie and befriending Donnie. Then when Devin goes batshit crazy, they're like, gold. They do it, like, they have an idea who's going to be a villain, but then we just do it to ourselves. Mm -hmm. So are we all on board that, that Devin is the villain right now? Uh, but that's the week. thing, like, it's like, until next week, yeah, until he goes, because Jeremy, okay, p people who compare Devin to me are just idiots. No, I Devin think he's like Jeremy. The Jeremy. Yeah, Devin yeah. is the Jeremy yeah. of last season. But, again, that's another example. Jeremy, outside the house, is the coolest cat around. Like, he's so freaking cool. But, but he, inside like, the house. Yeah, they're, they're just, like, so competitive, so, and they get people who get, it's like when you see people play, like, uh, any sort of sport, and the and the athlete just like 
literally like gets in a fight and you hit people, it's because like you're so amped up to win that you want to kill anybody in your way. And really, it's just a game. But you get you just want to fucking fight them because you're just like, oh, you're getting in my way of winning. So I think that's what I think. Yeah, I think Devin's the Jeremy uh, of the season, so he's going to be out pre-jury for sure. Yeah, I think he forgot that the most important thing to remember is that Big Brother is a marathon. It is not a sprint. And if you don't pace yourself, like, because I heard uh, it's, and this was, it was so reminiscent of Jeremy last year, because I heard him start saying, you know, I'm just going to have to win cops to get my way through this. It's like, it's, you, you can't. Yeah, you that, well, he didn't really know the game. And to really, be fair, yeah. to be fair, what you said about Frankie's edit is that Frankie's edit is changing. They definitely started to change his edit a little bit, but you can't go from like, Frankie is this fun, loving character to like the next, the very next episode. You're like Frankie, ba ba ba, backstabber. Like you have to sort of ease into it. So yeah, he, I think he, I think yeah. that once uh, Devin leaves, I think that Frankie may become uh, more of a villain. But I I agree with that. I totally agree with you. And he's the one that I've I've no idea. It all depends on what he does. He is the. He could either go into the really smart, strategic guy, or he could become a real huge villain on the show. It'll be interesting to watch that evolve. Yeah, oh, I think we got it. That was like the longest signing off of my life, and I think my boyfriend needs me. Yeah, well, we are going to sign off. I will say a conversation for, or I'll put it on the records right now. I don't think ever will CBS give Frankie a bad edit, but we can debate that on another show. But um, I don't think being a villain is a bad edit, but continue. I okay, agree. Well, I don't think I agree. ever be him the villain, which would be seen as the bad edit. But, Amanda, tell the people where they can find you, yada, yada, one more time. Go. And say goodbye. If you want to find me and my witty banter making fun of Andy Heron because he didn't get a planet on this last episode, <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Amanda Zuckerman or on Instagram at Amanda underscore Zuckerman. And the links will be below on the edited show. Okay, Amanda, we can let you yeah. go. Go back to your man. We love you, and we will see you later. I love, I love, you. I love you, Amanda. Thank Bye. you for having me. Thank Are you for being here. Hey, guys, so much fun chatting with Amanda about this season of Big Brother. You can follow me at Comedy Jonah. Go ahead, Cleo. You can follow me at uh, Miss Cleo BB, and I loved watching Amanda kick your asses in the... The Battle of the Zuck. I think yes. you manipulated the answers, to be honest. I wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> I loved it as well. And I have to say, thank all of you, now I'm choking, for watching. <laughs> so sorry, as we saw, maybe it was Google and their server errors that we were having tonight. It could have been us, but it is Blame. why it is so, so important. For you guys to thumbs up, subscribe to our show, get the feeds from us, uh, patron, all, any of those ways you support us, it's good because we invested in not having these problems anymore. Do you know, uh, do you know why you should? Do you know why? Because I, Devin, Devin has a daughter. Devin has a daughter. That it's he hasn't true. seen in two years, yeah. Great. And Brittany has a daughter. But that she sees all the time. She actually has three kids. Joe, she, oh, she has three. And yeah. Derek, Derek, who we love, <laughs> oh, has a son. And, and uh, <laughs> Cody has a hot ass. A big. Yeah. Oh, well, let me say this. Cody, let me say this. Cody, Cody. It is, it is Cody. also confirmed <laughs> Cody's brother <laughs> will be on the show later this season when Cody is in power. He will be stopping in to join us. Um, this Saturday, we will be back for our Saturday show, either during the veto or at least late at night before. Follow any of us on Twitter to get more info on that. John is starting his Game of Crown shows this weekend. Of course, Jersey is starting, so we're doing audio vlogs for that. And I believe next week we will be joined by Andy. But stay tuned. I'll put out the photos and I'll let you know. It might change. It might be somebody else. Even better if Andy isn't. Hey, so who, all... who do people want to see? Could, we, could they su submit suggestions? Sure. 
here's what you do. If you guys, there's someone you wanted to see on the show, tweet me at Reality Recaps and say, hey, we want at that person on your show so they know I'm not just making it up when I'm telling them. <laughs> <laughs> or you can tweet me and hashtag blame Eric for the connection uh, tonight. You could do but that. Don't edit that out. Don't edit that out, Eric. Well, I got already got to edit the show to make me win this contest, which is why I held up the 1883 and this. Yes, I won! All right, see you guys all on Saturday. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Can we talk about this tomorrow? I'm sleeping. <laughs>